Hey, Bob from Insidium here. It's Top Tip Tuesday. And on today's video, we're going to be using Terraform effects to create some nice detailed ground planes for our 3D scenes. We're then going to export the height data from Terraform, which can be used in Redshift for render time displacement. So let's begin. In our scene, we have this Terraform effects terrain with a single noise operator just in the defaults. Let's make um, our landscape. Now, obviously, you can make whatever surface you want for this technique. I'm going to go to my properties and we're going to change our noise type. Uh, in fact, look, before we do that, let's just switch off this fractal detailing so we can see the underlying noise. We're going to change the noise type from simplex to cellular and increase this jitter so we get this kind of Voronoi pattern going on. And we don't want these flat and vertical sides here so we're going to change our return type from cell to distance sub and that's going to give us these nice edges cool so now if we go down to warp let's put on some fractal warping increase this and you can start seeing the effect of our paving that's starting already to look pretty cool i like that a lot right one last thing a cool trick with terraform if we select our operator and we get the scale tool and we're in the normal model mode the def uh, default if we scale this up and down it scales the altitudes it's getting taller or shorter but if we put this in object mode and scale it scales the actual underlying noise so that is uh, pretty neat so let's just do that and put it back to model mode scale down that altitude a little bit and there we've got some pretty cool um, pretty cool surface so one thing I'm going to make note of is if we go to our noise operator to the operator tab look we've scaled that so the gains on 22 let's just put that on a round number we'll put that on 25 so we've got 25 gain we need to remember this number for later all right, so what we want to do now is export this height data as a map so we don't have to have a very high resolution kind of mesh in our scene. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to go to the terrain object and I'm going to increase the segments up to say 4000 by 4000. That's going to add detail and it's going to mean that our exported height map is going to be 4000 by 4000 pixels. So decent enough resolution. So now we want to export that map. How do we do it? We go to the terrain preview tab and here look we have our height data this altitude map uh, there's all these different types of maps we could choose from but we're going to use altitude so what I'm going to do is just use this right file button to save these details to our specified location there we go and now I'm going to do is switch off my terrain object completely and in its place I'm going to bring in this plane which is very low poly um, 10 by 10 segments and let's just make this sphere visible as well which we're just going to use for rendering purposes so the first thing to do actually let's just do this from scratch I'm going to just delete that redshift object tag from my plane so what we want to do now is load up that height map as a displacement map in redshift here's how we do it we go to the material manager let's double click to make a new redshift material and put it on our plane and we'll double click to go into our node editor in this we need to access that that texture that height map so let's double click and type in texture which is going to bring us a texture node there it is look texture and this will enable us to, to import any texture so then we'll go to our path here and load in what we have just saved from terraform there we go there is our map and we need to put this we need to use this data for this displacement channel but it's not the right type of data we need to convert it so to do that we're going to double click and type in display displacement there we go let's drag that in and we can use our height map as the input and then we'll output this into our displacement of our output there cool then we can just leave that and in fact oh let's just let's just go into the material and just take the roughness up so it's not going to be a shiny rock something like that okay now we can turn that down cool so now what we need to do is one last step to get this to do, to displace our plane at render time so we're going to go to our plane tags render tags and put a redshift object tag on we're going to go to the geometry tab we're going to enable, we need to override, enable tessellation. I'm going to take off smooth subdivision. 
and we're going to select displacement and now if we go to our redshift render view and render you'll see that look we're getting a bit of displacement but what we need to do is match that gain that we had in our noise let's go to our noise operator look 25 gain and the way we do that is if we go to our redshift tag we go to the displacement and let's put the maximum displacement and displacement scale on the both the same on 25 and there we have matched it perfectly fantastic so now if we just uh, come in a little bit with our camera you can see that we've got this amazing at render time displacement which perfectly matches our original terraform but of course we can continue to adjust this in redshift should we wish you can add more bump detailing and obviously spend lots more time getting some nice realistic textures